Oh, hasn't been seen since second to Will John in the Jericho Cup. It's on nay for hay form. It's terrific form and El Misca's solid in the market, but he wasn't so, too solid at the start. He missed it a half length. Sign sealed, delivered, was the first out on the jump. Bud Fox, the one that put the MCG on, went up second. Serenade the Stars, three out, and then Diplomat Jack. Coffee's going forward on French Moon. That'll seem deep on the favourite out of the straight. He probably knew that, though, from El Misk, and then followed by Gobstopper. Obedience went back to second last, and last year's winner of the Bendigo Ford Morong Cup is ripcord, and he'll have to pass them all to go back to back. They travel into the back straight. The tempo seems pretty fine. It's signed, sealed, delivered. Trying to drop anchor by the look of it from Serenade the Stars and Diplomat Jack on the outside was next three out. Bud Fox looks to have... Uh, now he might be wide too. He's just behind them. El Misca's on the inside getting the right run and French Moon was able to nick back for some cover with three behind it. There Gobstopper who's going jumping. We're all going jumping next month. Then followed a length and a half to Rip Corder. Now Obedience is two lengths away at the rear. This is getting willing up front. Diplomat Jack he had no choice. Three deep presses on. Serenade the Stars uh, doesn't want to hand up the spot outside the leader and Sign Seal delivered. Keeps the fence and doesn't want to hand up the lead so they've got along a bit. Al Miska's had a butte run. He's going to need some luck if he's got any petrol left in the finish. And then came the heavily tried Bud Fox. French Moon was next. Three wide with cover. He's got a decision to make. Though obedience getting itchy fingers and so too Ripcord put themselves into the race and they whip around him. And Gobstopper in the famous Musgrove jumping. Colours is last. Sign sealed deliver. He must be nearly out on his feet. He's fighting them off one by one. Going up to join him as the stable mate obedience. Al Miska's had the best run in the world. Then Diplomat Jack followed further back in the race, then by Rip Cornered. French Moon is getting to the outside. Coffee's trying to go to the double, the Bendigo and the Maroon Cup, and he is coming. Sign seal delivered, being collared by Al Misk. Then Obedience. French Moon's working home strongly. Al Misk is in for the fight, so sign seal delivered. French Moon has cantered up to them on the outside, though. French Moon hits the lead. Sign seal delivered, and Al Misk are trying very hard, but in the colours worn by his great old man, Poisson. To learn. He's going to canter on it. Canter on, he does. And French Moon going like a Bendigo forward. Coffee will make it the Morong Bendigo Cup double. He wins by two and a half lengths to sign seal, delivered an Al Misk. Rip Cord and Bud Fox for fourth, and then Gobstopper Obedience. Diplomat Jack and Serenade the Stars. Not surprisingly, he got the stitch. Beautiful, patient ride by Harry Coffee. He won the Bendigo Cup. Most recent one on uh, Wentwood. 